Now I know I just made a video and it's not typical that I put out two back-to-back -back videos this quickly, but when I'm inspired, I have to create. You can kind of say I'm exactly like Leonardo da Vinci like that. Hey ladies, it's Dan Frampton and today I want to talk about eight different ways you can ruin music for yourself, okay? Because music is lovely. Music is the language of life, you know? But you can have it ruined for you. By this first way, overplaying the song. You can love a song so much that every time you wake up, you have just an addiction to put that thing on, okay? And then day after day, you're listening to this thing. And you know, by the time the year is over, you never want to hear this song again. You never want to hear this band again. This is the worst song that you ever heard, okay? That is the first way that you can ruin music for yourself. The second way that you can ruin the enjoyment of, of the music listening experience is by taking everything Anthony Fantano says as gospel. Treating this melon like a god is wrong, okay? And what's even worse than that is waiting for his review to form your own opinion. If you're partaking in this toxic practice, then my friend, I have the worst news for you. You are ruining music for yourself. The next way that you could ruin music for yourself is by taking the rules of the genre too seriously, okay? There's like the different kinds of shoes you can and cannot wear, the different kinds of pants, the different kinds of hairstyles. Are you wearing the right kinds of spikes? Did you buy your spikes in the right place? Is that airplane seat buckle belt ethically sourced? You know, all these sorts of rules that you can take so seriously for your own self. But what makes it even worse is when you're then putting these expectations and these standards on the people around you. You know, you can't enjoy this band unless the front man wears this kind of shoes. You can't enjoy this band unless the front person is like has their hair in this particular way, you know? So taking rules so seriously is a surefire way to ruin music for yourself. And you know what I hate when people do? This is another thing that'll absolutely ruin music for you. I don't know why people continue to do this, but when you make the decision in your life to learn how to play an instrument, you've made the decision to learn how to hate music, okay? So now you're spending eight hours a day learning this goddamn theremin, okay? Day after day, can I get these songs? Can I get these scales? And then you're like, oh, I gotta do these scales every day to stay sharp at playing my instrument? This sucks. I don't want to listen to music anymore, because now when I'm listening to music, it reminds me of all the hours I'm wasting learning how to play the music. And is my hand in the right spot? Am I doing the right thing over here with this thing? The theremin is just the devil's work, okay? So if you're out here thinking that you're gonna learn the banjo, the kazooie, okay? If you're thinking you're gonna be out here learning the theremin then you are making a drastic error so if I can save anyone's life if I'm making a difference in any way if I'm making an impact here on YouTube I wish that it would be this and that would be to impart this wisdom to not learn how to play an instrument because it will inevitably lead to the next thing on our list and that is starting a band and going on tour. Nothing is gonna make you hate your friends more than going on tour. Nothing is gonna make you hate driving more than going on tour. You're not gonna to wanna to play shows anymore. You're not gonna to wanna to listen to music anymore. Going on tour is just like saying, hey, I'd like a, a really large bill over here, please, for people not appreciating me. I wanna pay a whole bunch of money for people that don't even give a shit that I'm around. That's what being in a band is like. So if you're walking around with that kind of feeling all the time, then my friend, that is such a quick way to learn how to hate music for yourself. And when you're out there on the road, tensions are gonna be high, okay? There's so many farts you're sniffing. There's so many armpits you're sniffing. There's so many unwashed bodies crowding your face all the time that you're inevitably gonna start a beef with a band member, okay? Now, if you start a beef with a band member, you're not gonna wanna listen to their music anymore because you're gonna be reminded of how much of a shitty shit the shitty shit is, okay? You won't be able to sit back and be like, oh man, what a filthy, nasty, riff. You're gonna sit back and go, what a filthy, nasty son of a bitch. I hate that guy. That guy that plays guitar in that band. That guy that does vocals in that band. I can't believe they did all these bad things to me and I'm so angry at them and they came at me and I came at them and there's all this vitriol in the air, you know? That is one way to ruin all the music for yourself. Bad idea, bad move. The next sure-fired, guaranteed way to ruin punk. 
to ruin pop punk, to ruin metalcore, to ruin hardcore, to ruin the alternative scene for you is by watching Finn McKenty. If you're out there watching Finn McKenty videos, oh my God, you're, you're a lost cause. It's over for you. I'm so sorry. I wish I could go back a year or two years and be making videos, okay? So you didn't have to be subjected to this nonsense. But because you are, you know, you're going to be brainwashed into thinking that this is the narrative that's correct. You're going to be thinking that this is the way to make content. This is the correct man over here. But as you can see right here, we got this big arrow pointing to him and it says that he is wrong and I agree with that Finn McKenty you're wrong so join in his main channel watching his live streams going into the discord oh my god every single time you behave in such a manner that's one more nail in your coffin of liking music and honestly this is just a public service I'm being such a nice guy I'm being so charitable right now I don't know why I'm sharing this knowledge with the world but thank god that I am because maybe the enjoyment of music is going to live on for longer and longer and longer if people learn how to not play instruments, how to not start bands, how to not go on tour, how to not watch Finn McKenty, and most importantly, stay away from r slash punk and r slash hardcore. If you're here on Reddit, you're done. <laughs> you're absolutely done. Nobody cares about anything that you say in the real world. That's why you go on to r slash punk and r slash hardcore so you can get upvoted into having some sort of self-respect. Look at this shit over here. r slash punk. The first thing I see is a Rage Against the Machine post. Get out of here. And then it's just people sharing videos of like punk rock from 1977. This is so lame. And then over here on r slash hardcore, it's even worse. Keep honking. I'm listening to Title Fight's 2000 2012 emo masterwork floral green. Oh man, what a goddamn bumper sticker. That's so relatable. I love that. Tonight in St. Louis, look at that. You got Jell and Big Laugh, and apparently there's big drama in the scene right now. Did Jell love the cops? I don't know. Go out to their show to see if Jell is all over the cops. Are they calling the cops on you? Who knows? I will say that this is kind of sick, and I am going to be rewarding this with an upvote sometime. Not on this account, because I believe I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm banned from r slash hardcore. Let's see. No, they, they let the upvote go through. This is excellent news, ladies. But over here, what we got is a flag, okay? I guess it's like of the Denny's Grand Slam. Excellent flag. This is one way to ensure that the enjoyment of music lives on forever. If you have a flag of the Denny's Grand Slam, you are a music enjoyer. And you have a lot that you could teach the world, okay? There's a lot of wisdom that you can impart upon these idiots. And just like Leonardo da Vinci, I don't want to stay too long, so uh, all that is... Uh, available for free for you, and now it goes down as script, okay? This is law, this is the truth. <laughs> this is the truth as I see it, and now it's absolutely out there in the universe. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe, okay? If you're cool as hell, you're gonna be ringing that bell. That's gonna ensure notifications. And when you get notifications sent to your phone about uploads from the channel, you're gonna feel like, you're, you're, like, you're gonna feel a part of the community, okay? What, what else can I say? Uh, and, and then until my next upload, like I put out so many of these things, there's so many videos, a video here, a video here, two videos a day, okay, whatever. Until my next upload, you can watch another upload. Okay, bye.